Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Sunday, is a rest day for my family. Behind the scenes of all this partying has been a lot of work, a lot of cleanup, a lot, a lot of staying up late. And my family has requested to have Sunday off. That means no chores. That means just resting and doing whatever they want. And, but the puppies are raring to go like usual. That's why the puppies need the pool. They run so much, they get overheated and they have to cool down. So welcome to today. I'm excited. Just because my family needs rest, just because my family needs rest does not mean that I need rest. I love being busy. I do not want to rest today. I don't want any rest. And I know that Sophia is the same. Uh-oh. Sophia has the same kind of energy that I have. And so she'll be down here. She'll be doing animal stuff with me. She already told me she wants to do horses today. So it might be a rest day for my family, but it's not gonna look like a rest day for my family. Just like that, goat barn chores are done. This is what I miss whenever I'm away from the farm or when people are here. I miss just being out here watching my goats, watching my pig. <laughs> Just watching everybody, loving everybody, loving this little goat who thinks that she has to be on top of me at every single second. These are the worst kind of goats, the super friendly ones. You want the kind of like cricket that's like friendly when everything is quiet and calm but runs away when things are wild. Come here, Crick. I miss my pig whenever I don't have time to spend with her during the day, like just come and sit and her cuddle with me. I miss her. I miss you, posy pig. She's like, I'll meet you too. Hi. Let's see if I can get the goat off me. There we go. What is all over your head? Yeah, she's my baby girl. My baby piggy. She just keeps headbutting me until I pay attention to her. Whenever I pay attention to my pig, she throws a fit. But she, you're terrible. She's a terror. You're a terror. But it makes like going to goat shows, it's going to be easy with her because she prefers to be with us than the other goats. So taking her away from them won't stress her out. That's for sure. Posey's lost a little bit of weight. I can already tell. So since I'm down in the goat barn getting my goat dopamine for the day and my head butts from little Tothy, I wanted to show you guys who I'm breeding this year. So breeding, we're going to breed in October, which means babies will be born in March, which means they'll be ready to go to their new homes in May. Farms that breed and sell livestock, there's like a routine to it. It's not just like breed your animal whenever you want and then sell the babies. There's like a breeding season and then there's a selling season. So selling season for us is early spring. To maximize the sales of our animals, they should be ready to go like in March, which is when everybody's starting to set up their farms and figure out what they want to add to their farms each year or what they need to add to their farms. And that's what we do every year. Every March, we start like figuring out what we wanna add or what we wanna sell or what what's working for us or what's not working for us. Stop! <laughs> she, she thinks I'm her friend. Stop, she was headbutting me. If I say she can't sit on me, she throws a fit. This is like the worst kind of baby. Why are you mad at me? Because I won't let her on my lap. She gets mad, watch. She's a devil. Goats are not very easily trainable in terms of like behavior. Stop. Right now, stop. She's so strong. Stop. So ideally, we would want to have our babies available for sale as soon as possible, but at the same time, we don't want to have our goats giving birth in the coldest parts of the year, um, just because it's a little bit harder to keep them warm if you have like a really, really cold spell, which we can manage no problem. So it's not a huge problem for us. And I feel like baby goats do better in the cold than they do in the sun. I have to sit up. This goat is never giving up. Anyways, so, Breeding season for us, we've decided is 
October, and these are the goats that we're going to breed this year. We are going to breed a little Miss... Blossom over there for her second time. We're going to meet breed little Miss Tilly for her third time. And over there in the corner, we're going to breed Lola. I wasn't going to breed Lola, but she actually had a big growth spurt this summer. And she looks even bigger than some of the goats that I've seen. And it's not just necessarily about her height or her weight. It's also about the size of her pelvis. And the size of her pelvis is fine. Appears to be fine. I decided I'm going to try and breed her. You happy little piggy yeah so only three goats this year last year how many did we breed three i think we only bred three one two three four four maybe i don't know i can't remember but anyways we're gonna breed three goats um in october i'm going to when everything kind of settles down on my plant like everything kind of settles down on the farm i'm gonna look for a couple more registered does and buy them and breed them Ideally, I'd like to breed five does, so two more would be ideal for us. But the babies that we bought this year, we're not going to breed until next year. So that is little Cricket and little Toffee over here. We're going to leave them and not breed them this year. Technically, Cricket is big enough to be bred this year. Uh, they have to be seven months, at least 45, preferably 50 pounds. And there has to be a good distance between their pin bones to breed them. And she meets those criteria. And actually, looking at her now, she even looks taller. She's grown a lot this year. Uh, but I don't want to take any chances. And she's still growing. And even though that's an acceptable way of breeding, I think for me, we're going to wait a little bit. Just like we wanted to wait last year with Blossom, but she snuck under the fence. So Cricket and Toffee are going to wait until next year. And they'll be well over a year old well they'll be a year and a half old. even our little buck over there has grown a lot this summer all that's nice green grass that he's been eating he's taller he's bigger and he's interested in the ladies he's finally getting interested in the ladies and i'm loving the look of him i love the look of his face i love i love so much about him i could write a book about how much i love about him i don't like how noisy he is but that's the only bad thing one thing that i absolutely love about having parties and having family get-togethers and having people over is that you clean your house like so much the days leading up to the party and then the day after the party your house is still so clean you just have to tidy up a bit and it's so wonderful and I love that we're going into this fall season this school year season with our house all organized and perfect and just like that baby Lily has arrived you guys baby stuff has gotten so much nicer over the years like even since my grandkids were born. Look how nice this baby bag is. It's a backpack, but it opens up so big and so wide that you can just look in there and see the stuff. Like, I hate bags that you have to look inside, pull everything out to get to the stuff on the bottom. Like, this is so organized and so nice. Like, I love it. That's what I would use if they had those when I had babies. Our house is so cold that Lily and I are hanging up, hanging out outside. I should have told them to bring me a sling to carry her around. Say hi, Lil. Hi, little Lily. <laughs> she actually likes the camera. So she's three months old now. Just a tiny little girl. Uh-oh. I'm going to take her around the farm and show her all the animals. Because this, Lily, is your birthright. You get to go to Nana's house every summer and spend time with the animals. She's like, great. <laughs> so this is the leftovers from this last few days. And everybody's excited. Yes, I know, turkey. Hold on. Let's let everybody have a turn. They're dying for food. When they hear me come out, they know the time of day. Whoa. <laughs> come on, everybody. Come take some. Everybody help yourself. Just take one thing. Share. Share. That's pasta. Here, let me put it on the ground. Did you guys, I think I told you guys that chickens can't t taste spicy things. All right, so my son was here, came to pick up the baby, and he said, like, you need to have a petting zoo. You need to do some kind of petting zoo thing because they came and they were like sitting down with the goats and that little baby goat that was fighting me all morning. 
they were so happy just to have her climbing on top of them and sitting with her. Like all she wants is just love. The baby slept the whole entire time that she was here. I kept her outside with me because it was so cold in the house. I didn't want her to get cold. So I kept her outside with me and I put her in the stroller and I literally rocked her for a second and then she slept the whole entire time. Like the whole entire time they went to see a movie. And when they got back, they said like she never sleeps in the stroller ever. She will not sleep in the stroller. She slept so deeply, but I guess it's because she's outside and she loves being outside. She might only be three months old, but she loves watching the chickens. She just sits there and stares at them and follows them around with her eyes. They love this time of the day. I love that we can spend time with all of our animals and just like have one part of the day that's just about them. And at night, it's just the chickens and the turkeys and the roosters. Look at that rooster. He's so gorgeous. You too. Look at the poop on my truck. Are you going to clean it now? <laughs> Better than scratches. Big poop. <laughs> hey, Ellie. And it's my... Look at it. It's all mushy. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, I thought you were talking about over there. Yeah, that too. <laughs> You're gross. You're a gross turkey. I'm going to eat you now. No. Did you see how scared she looked there for a second? I will not let them eat you. Is that a boy? My thing. No. Yes. Why is she growing that thing on her neck? Because they're Is it wrecking this? Well, the claws might wreck it. Well, it doesn't look like she is. Well, that Poor girl. Wrecking. Well, I'll go get a cloth and wipe it down. Oh. Well, Listen. Your job. When she wants me to come outside, she climbs on the truck. You're aiming for my fingers. <laughs> Ow. Marshmallows are the right thing to feed. He bit me. I just looked up, can horses have marshmallows? And it says like melted marshmallows is a bit better for them. They're just hard for them to chew. So it's better not to give it to them. It's not even hot outside and the horses are still in here. Go out that side. Do you think it's dinner time? Is that water? We've literally been lazy all day. Take the tractor and do the pooping thing. Yeah, do you know there Spread. there are little things that you can take and like Spread that. You're I matching spreading me. Her. I'm matching you? I got black and black on. You got black. No, you got camo and I got camo. Oh. I wanna find honey because I don't see Sophia that. and Gabby and Sam. Sam here you do it too. Let's see. We'll take turns and we'll call our horses and see if they come. Uh, okay, hold on. I'll go first. I'll go first. Alright, you go first. Uh oh, it's already happening. Lady, come here. Star, star. Storm looked. Lady, he heard that. that. Is that is oh, that's Willow. <laughs> Willow, lady. Penny, Storm. lady. Come on, Pen. <laughs> Figures. Lady. Penny. Come here, lady. Come here. No, lady. Come here. Come here, lady. Lady. Aww. But he's closer. But also, she's such a sweet horse. Penny, she loves here. everybody. Oh, she's coming to you now. No, she's going to Gabby. <laughs> she's a genius horse. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's a win for sure. Come here, Penny. Come here, Penny. Come here, Penny. Come here, Penny. Come on, Gracie. <laughs> Gabby, you call Gracie. She's yours. Come on, Pen. Oh, everybody's coming now. Oh, here comes Storm. Uh oh. Come on, Pen. Come here, Penny. Pen. Penny. Penny's going inside. Pen. Penny, look. Penny. Here we go. Penny. Stormy. <laughs> Storm's over here. Come on, Pen. Come on. Target. Come on, Penny. Penny. Penny! Oh, come on. Come on, Penny! 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 And you say she won't let you put on her fly mask. Yeah, she doesn't. I don't know what's going on. You think I'm Laura? Penny! 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 Target! <laughs> it's scary. So, when all of our family were here, uh, my nephew and my niece. Who was it? Danielle and Dylan. Why are you guys Danielle's the mom of the boys. Three of my horses are here, so I think I win. All the horses are here. <laughs> I think we all win. Honey ran the fastest. Honey did. Once Honey found out you were calling her, she flew. Willow came too, trotting too. 
Anyway, so my nephew and my niece and then their kids, they were out in this field and then I, I don't even know how they came out here, but they were just walking around and they said all of a sudden, oh, they were going to go on the trail? Yeah, and then they... All of a sudden they heard the galloping, pounding feet of Lady and all the big, they thought the horses were locked in for the night. All of a sudden the horses just charged them. Who's? Here, here's one for Willow. Come here, Willow. The funniest thing are that if I run, the dogs, I do the dogs right behind us. They sit right behind us so we can keep them safe. Yeah, that was nice. yeah your babies. The Sam's baby. She just lays in the horse field down. Doesn't she run like a like a coyote? Yeah, I know. Honey does that. Honey, if Honey wants to get Sophie to stop running, she stands in front of her. <laughs> she can't go anymore. See? I know it's bad habit. She shouldn't be doing that to you. There's honey here. Look. Oh, how's her honey? Is there a, a, a nest up there? It get it like down. It's just leaking. We'll have honey. Just like that, the horses are in the barn. Don't you know that you're beautiful?